Welcome back. In the spirit of going back to school, parents have to start thinking about lunchtime, obviously a crucial part of any kid's day. <laughs> so we wanted to help mom and dad switch things up instead of packing the same old sandwich every day. So here to give us a few non-sandwich school lunch ideas is Jane Brasso. Jane, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be back. You are the expert. Mom of 10, <laughs> I, I'm not going to question anything that you do here today. <laughs> <laughs> but you brought a few I ideas did, that, that we can switch up instead of maybe just doing same PB and J. That's right. So tell me a little bit about will, what yes. we have. So I make about a thousand school lunches in a school year. Whoa. Yeah. So I kind of feel like I could put lunch expert on my <laughs> resume at oh, some point. Oh, absolutely. Um, one thing to think about is most elementary school lunches are short. They're only 20 to 25 minutes. Yes. So I really do keep that in mind when I'm making my kids lunches. I want to make sure it's something that they can eat mm -hmm. in that time, um, something that they will eat, mm -hmm. and something that will give them energy for the day. Yes. Okay. So we'll start with idea number one. Okay. This is always um, a favorite with my kids, and it's kind of make your own lunchable type thing. So it's crackers and cheese, a meat. This could be, I put pepperoni in here, but this could be turkey, ham, whatever you like, um, a veggie or a fruit. And speaking of helping my kids so that they can eat during that time period, uh -huh. I'll open things. So like these gummy snacks, oh, I already opened so that they're not having to wait for somebody to help them open it for my younger kids. Yeah, this is so good. And like we said, inexpensive, because I never even thought about, we, we buy Lunchables at the store all the time. Make your own at that's home. That's right, that's right. And you can make, you know, a week's worth yeah. of Lunchables and just stick them in your refrigerator. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so my next one, um, this is for my kids that um, love to eat breakfast all day. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I call it brunch. So I've got um, mini pancakes, um, a hazelnut spread, um, some strawberries and oranges. And what I do is I actually put the pancakes in frozen in the morning. Oh, okay. And then by lunchtime, they thaw out enough okay. that they're ready to eat. Um, and they can just make their own little sandwiches. So you can like grab a little Nutella and then put on some strawberries and they can make a little sandwich. So, and my kids think that is really cool. I was just about to say, because also, like I said, <laughs> crucial time in a kid's day. This is where this is where the cool kids are made. <laughs> <laughs> With mom and dad, yeah, lunch. you gotta keep you gotta keep um, them on their toes. Just another kind of time saving thing. Um, so clementines are such a great easy thing to put mm -hmm. into lunches, um, but I will help my kids by peeling the top, so Perfect. that they can still peel it. It's easy to peel. It stays together, but it doesn't dry out because sometimes when you peel it all the way and yeah. then stick it in the lunch, it kind of dries out. So this way. Everybody's I love happy. it. Yeah. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, and this is what my kids usually have The most for lunch. popular. <laughs> it is the most the most <laughs> popular. So it's chicken nuggets um, that I bake before they go to school. So I just okay. stick them in the air fryer and then put them in foil. And I mean, they'll obviously they're not going to be super hot by lunchtime, mm -hmm. but they stay warm enough. My kids never complain. They're happy with that. And then I just put in a dipping sauce, a fruit, and a treat. Perfect. And they are really happy. I love it. And then our next yes, one? Yes, our next one is a yogurt. Okay. Parfait. So whatever flavor yogurt they like, some granola, some chocolate chips, apples. And I love this because they could either make their own parfait or they could dip the apples in the yogurt. I love it because the you're giving them the options. Granola. Okay. Yes. Oh, 30. We got, we got okay, okay. one last, last one. one. Okay. This is actually my favorite. Yes. So it's make your own pizzas. So these are just little mini pitas and they can just put on the sauce, some cheese. This is so good. And some pepperoni. Um, my, one of my tips would be have your kids practice eating in the time frame that they have for lunch before school starts. Oh, this is Especially good. This is the time. Your Back to school prep. First graders, second graders, make sure that they can open up their whatever they're having for lunch yeah. and make sure that they can do it within the time frame that they have allotted. Oh my goodness. And like you said, so much thought goes into this, <laughs> making a thousand a, a, a school year. Thank you so much for being You're here. Welcome. Thank I you for having me. I know some parents are out there taking pictures, <laughs> taking notes. I love it.